So today um, we're talking about the refusal reasons um, and it's called 214B, 214B um, obviously. And that is one of the main reasons why many international students um, get rejected. So before you know, we dive into a, a little bit of a background obviously for our audience. So um, typically when you apply for any non-immigrant visas and please correct me if I'm wrong because obviously you would know better, a lot better. Um, Typically, when you apply for any non-immigrant visas, which student visa is one of the non-immigrant visas, and you go to your interview, it's at the sole discretion of the visa officer to actually approve you or deny you, right? And one of the most common reasons why people get denied, it's called 214B, and usually people share that you know sheet that says you've been rejected for 214B, blah, 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 for these reasons. And so let's talk about that today. If you want to explain a little bit what that is, and what it means would be wonderful. Sure, absolutely. Well, thank you. That was a very good uh, uh, background intro. 214B is a section of the Immigration and Nationality Act of the United States. And it's very important to understand that what 214B essentially is saying is that the applicant, this person giving the interview, has failed to overcome the presumption of immigrant intent. What does that mean in like standard language? It means that the consular officer got, starts out with the uh, assumption that you're gonna go to the United States, whatever you're applying for on your visa and stay there or work there without you know, having proper authorization. It's not because the consular officer is super suspicious. Mm -hmm. That is the law. They yeah. start out with that presumption. The applicant's job during the interview is to convince the consular officer that that is actually not true. They do not intend to remain in the United States or work in the United States without authorization, but that they intend to go for the reason that their visa is for, which is student visa, they're intending to go to study. And um, so that's what 214B is about. They, they it's, The consular officer, when they refuse someone 214B, in general, it means they don't believe you about that you're going to go and do what you say you're going to do with your uh, application and your your documents and so on. And so it might not be that they think oh, it's a 100% sure thing that you're going to go work or that you're going to remain in the United States, but they've got enough doubt in their mind mm -hmm. that you did not overcome that presumption. So you, you basically, you step into the batter's box. All right, I realize I don't play baseball, a lot in some of your markets, but you, you you step or let's say you step into you know the the game already uh, you know in in a little bit of a deficit that you've got to overcome, mm -hmm. and how do you do that? We'll get to that. But that's what two fourteen B is. They don't believe that you've overcome that presumption that you're going to stay in the U.S. or violate uh, your visa uh, status when you're in the U.S.